We wanted to do a Firefly reunion in honor of, by the way, all of us women out there who are missing our girlfriends. Firefly is just such, uh, Firefly Lane is such an amazing celebration of female friendship. And I was obsessed with the actress who plays you as the teenage version of Sarah's character. And we invited her here. Please welcome Rowan Curtis. <laughs> Excited to meet you. I was obsessed oh with you watching this show. Uh, that is the biggest compliment. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> well, I was obsessed with you both. You both, two people, make one whole person. And your character, Kate, uh, you guys learned mannerisms together and practiced together. Is that true? Yeah. Um, I mean, I. it's funny. I grew up watching Scrubs. And so for me, at least, like we work together. But for me, I feel like kind of understanding Sarah and her mannerisms was quite easy for me because I spent so much of my life watching her. That is helpful. And you guys are so similar on screen, but I wanted to see what both of you guys are like off screen since I'm such an uber fan of you on screen. And I was wondering if you guys would play a game with me called Face the Fun Facts. <laughs> Okay, here's how it works. A fact is gonna go up on the screen and appear, and I've never seen these fun facts, so I'm gonna guess if the fun fact is about Sarah or Rowan. And the person who it's about will reveal herself and explain the fact. Sounds great. Okay, let's see the first fact. Kicked out of the choir in the fifth grade. I'm gonna go with Sarah. <laughs> you would be correct. It was Mrs. Ah! McKinnon. <laughs> Sorry. Five, and it was uh, basically singing Christmas carols in a mall, not a fancy choir. And Mrs. McKinnon said, um, chalk girls. So she lumped in my sister and I together. Could you just mouth the words for this performance? I love that. I love that story. Perfect visual. Okay, the next one. Wore matching outfits with mom on Mother's Day. I'm going with Rowan on this one. <laughs> you would be correct. I, um, Dude! I should probably, yeah, you are two for two. Um, so it was Mother's Day and we, it was accidental. We just like showed up and we met each other. We didn't even notice that we were wearing matching outfits. And then we bumped into somebody walking down the street and they were like, oh, you're in matching outfits. And we were like, we are. And, uh, and so then we decided to take a picture. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. My daughter kicked me in the shins this morning. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> the truth. Um, okay, <laughs> next fun fact. <laughs> okay, can write with her feet. I'm going with Sarah. Three for three. Dudes! I I'm so excited. See, this is how I am with my girlfriends. I call them dudes. We, um, we were in grade six, I think, and I was passing notes in class and getting in trouble, and so then I just wrote the note under the desk, because I, I mean, you can imagine have very unattractive long toes, if that's possible. But how, like, inventive. Okay, walks a cat outside in a cat pack. I'm going, Rowan. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, so I got it before we went into lockdown. And it was kind of like as a joke, like I bought it for myself being like, oh, uh -huh, maybe I'll like take Gremlin, my cat, out for walks in this like once or twice. And then lockdown hits and I have nothing to do but take my cat out for walks in a backpack. And um, now I'm known as the lady who walks around my neighborhood with the yellow cat backpack. Um, all right, the last fact is Really good at limbo. I'm going Sarah with this one. Okay, so interestingly enough, you are right and also it's Rowan too. We both have this crazy, like it was so weird in the show, we sort of found out we have all these similar mannerisms and we kind of both love to dance and have a lot of similar interests, but we both have our, like our secret kind of superpower is limbo for both of us. Oh. Oh, wow, that's low. We got pretty low. I yeah. honestly, I think Sarah was better at it than I was. I think like I fell, I don't know if you can kind of see it at the end there, but I like fall kind of like onto my, onto all fours and she like kept going. Like she was, she's on it. 
Yeah, I stare at you're like full bend. I don't know when I'm gonna learn my lesson. This is something that I love to do and I've always loved to do, but I have, it's turned into a, a foot ankle injury situation and I've had to go to the doctor twice now and they said, so how did you do this? And I'm like, limbo again? Well, you know, listen, you've got writing to do with those feet. You've got paddle boarding and crabs to catch. So just take care of that body of yours because it seems like you know how to embrace life and have a good time. And I just want to thank you, Sarah and Rowan, so much for joining me and giving us all a taste of what it's like to have the female experience and all the friendship that goes with it. And so thank you. I just am such a Firefly Lane fan. Thank you, ladies, so much. And of course, Eat Wheaties uh, will be in theater and demand this Friday, April 30th is when it drops. So check that out. And Firefly Lane, if you haven't already seen it, it was number one on Netflix, but it's still on Netflix. So thank you so much for coming today. I really, really appreciate it.